Okay, so this is Family Math 241, and we're continuing with our um, section on zonohedra. And we actually, this gigantic shape we made was the very last thing. So we started at the end, and then we back, we're going to back up and try to understand. So we made two kinds of zonohedra today um, so far. You made, let's talk about the threefold symmetry one first. Can you describe that shape for me, please? So we started with a yellow strut put onto a ball so that now and then we made then we made three well actually I made three red struts going off of it. Okay. And was there anything special about those red struts? Well they had to be in the same spot in relation to each other in the yellow. Okay. And they couldn't be perpendicular to the yellow. They couldn't be perpendicular to the yellow. Okay. So And what 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 shape did that make initially? Well, we made some rhombi off of it. Okay. And then we closed we closed the shape by putting this these three struts in and putting a ball on. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on the shape. So try to keep it at about the same spot. And what tell me what what you learned making this shape. What are some thoughts you have about this shape or how would you describe it? Well, it sort of looks like the rock the the rhombi dodecahedrons or something like a tile all of space. Okay. Like you took one of those and smushed it. Smushed it down. Hold it up just a little bit higher. There you go. Okay. Anything else you want to say about that shape? I don't think so. Okay. Let's move on to the five-fold symmetry.